So, um, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, now the only difference is we did the indefinite integral uh, last class period. So this class period, now we're just going to work on the definite integral, but by applying u substitution, because obviously you can see that there is a function with inside of, inside of a function, right? So therefore, we're going to have to use our u substitution. And again, that u comes from is whenever we want to integrate and we see a function within a function, we're just going to identify our u, which is 3x. All right. Now, I'll just do this one more time. But then from now on, I'm just going to kind of do the shortened version of this. Remember, we want to take the derivative of this. So we do du dx, which is equal to 3. And then we would multiply by the dx on both sides to solve for du. Right? So therefore, now, um, what you can see here is we don't have our 1 third, if you remember from last class period. So therefore, we're going to have to multiply that on the outside. Right? We don't have a 3 there. So we're going to want to take that outside of the integral, to, so therefore, it's still included. But we have our dx, and we have our, um, our u, which is our 3x. So um, the next thing is we need to be able to figure out what our, now that we're using our definite integral, we need to figure out our u of 5 and our u of 2, which is basically our lower and our upper bound. So to do that, basically what we're going to do is take our value of our lower and upper bound and plug them into u. So u of 5 is going to equal 15. And u of 2 is going to equal 6. Again, what I'm doing is plugging them into my, here, I'll just write it out for the first one, because the other ones I don't do, I won't show my work. All right. So what this allows us to do is now we can take my, oh, I should probably write this out there in the 1 third. I should probably take this out. So therefore, hmm. we need to solve for dx, right? So let's, let's divide by 1 third and let's do 1 third du equals dx, right? Divide by 3 on both sides to solve for my dx. All right. So I have 1 third, my new upper and lower bounds for my u is now going to be 15 out of 6. And then I'm going to be taking my derivative or my f of u, my derivative f prime of u, du. So I have my du covered. I have my 1 third. And I have my new upper and lower bound based on my Okay, so now I just go ahead and integrate f u, <coughs> f prime of u. Let's not go with f u. And then we'll go ahead and subtract um, those two values. And that can be our final answer. You could distribute the 1 third in um, as well. So what you guys will notice is there's a couple similarities and differences. 